I got beta. This is a 1984 Toshiba Betamax machine. I finally got one that will play my old beta tapes. This is a blank one actually. But it's really cool because it's got this thing on it. I'm not quite sure what it does yet. And I have it's got like this electronic display and the cassette and the channel selector. I'm going to turn it on in a minute and I'll show you the loading mechanism before but I'll show you the back and some of this stuff. Um, there's the input and output jacks for the RCA. And there's a couple of UHF and oh, that's a VHF input and yeah, UHF and output. Um, and there's the labels and stuff, of course. Toshiba Video Cassette Recorder Model VM42C. Toshiba Corporation, made in Japan. Um, there's a power cord and a hundred and something volt output. Then there's this thing. Molder, Narus Plastics Industry Corporation Limited. UL code is C1081. Um, August 9th, 1984. This is, is a 2185 on here. This will be the 21st week of 1985. A lot of the bits are made in Japan. But, I'll show you the cool part. This machine, okay, there's the power on. And you get the channel sector. I'm assuming the thing on the top has a lot to do with it. But this thing will record in beta 2 or beta 3. i got to clean the head, so I'll probably do that later. While I still have the top open. But watch this. This machine doesn't have, um, if you push it in, it doesn't cause it to go off. you got a clear front-loading system VCR. All right, with a, front, with a clear panel in the front. Watch this. Right, wait for it. Come on. Hang on. What oh, does this occasion? Okay, here we go. Watch this. You can see that ring gear that go, moves around, bringing the caps, the, all the rollers over to the cap stand. When I got it, it powered on and everything, but it would not play a tape. Fast forward and rewind worked. Um, they're still kind, they still work fast forward. It's lightning quick. Fast forward, Disney uh, rewinds lightning quick. Fast forward really kind of isn't. Um, but I had to change the uh, belt because it kind of melted. It wasn't bad like uh, like the Phillips, but it was pretty bad because like it was just stretched and melted. Like it wasn't gooey. It was just sort of sort of really really soft. Now here comes the problem. Okay, you can see the big beta button here. This is eject. Watch this. I don't know whether it's supposed to make this noise or whether it's just something that's accumulated because there's no gear or gear grease or something. Grind, 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 grind. And the tape automatically ejects. That is awesome. See all the gears and stuff moving around? But yeah. Um, there's a head located right here. There's another one right here. This big drum is a head. I'm not quite sure. I think there's like three or four of them in here somewhere. There's a bunch of cap stands. Um, various tuning coils, capacitors. Um, fortunately, the remote's missing. I think if it had a remote, I think there's a little tiny thing that goes underneath that long bottom ridge. That's kind of it's right there, but you can't see it. But, but you can see the cassette light lights up. Watch this. Okay. Can you see the cassette light flashing? Okay, it's on beta two right now. That green light's for beta 3. It doesn't record very nicely, so I'm not going to bother showing a recording. I'm going to put this down while I twist it around and put oh, and put the cable on it. Oops. Oh well. If it dips over again, I'm not going to bother. Um, okay, where's the cable? Cable! Cable TV. Yeah, there it is. Um, <coughs> I've already got the TV set up for th channel 3. You can see me on the screen. Show you a little clip from uh, this. And that's no laser pointer doing that.
You have to actually hit play on this. The play and the pause keys and the record keys light up. The picture quality is brilliant from regular view. You can see a whole bunch of pixels going across the screen currently. The only problem is, it's the MP here. The only problem being that because of the belt I had to use to rep repair or to replace the old one, it's an elastic band which came off of vegetables, like stuff that holds broccoli and cauliflower together. Or, yeah, broccoli and cauliflower together, or celery or whatnot, and it's kind of stretchy still, and it's a little bit too small. So there's a little bit of uh, fluctuations in the voice speed and sound effects. So music sounds kind of odd, but it can play tapes and stuff really nicely. So I'm quite happy with it. I finally got one. Now all I have to do is get a record player. But that's my beta machine.